right, so this is going to be a quick quickie. I'm going to show you something. Can everybody sing the song from the band Europe? It's the final countdown. I'm giving this Mark 7 one more shot. Other than that, if, if it doesn't happen, I'm boxing it and returning it. It's okay. I don't really like the sound of Mark Amps, I think is what it is more than anything. I don't think there's anything particular. Like, you know, now that I'm listening to all these clips, like whether it's a vintage 2C Plus or a JP2, like I just don't, it, there's something about that mid-range, that, 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 that's just not my thing. Uh, so we're going to see. So here is what I had last night. Here's the Mark 2C Plus. <laughs> Making these videos is hard, man. Keeping guitars in tune and not dropping picks. All right, so again, this is it. This is the Mark 7's final countdown. And now my strap is back. Oh, my God. Now it's totally screwed. Okay, whatever. Close enough for rock and roll. Anyway, uh, so here's where the 2C Plus was yesterday. Play a little bit. Let's see if we've got it. Let's play a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we didn't have any pedal. And I haven't touched it, so... And roll. So there it is. There's the 2C plus. Now, this dude on the Mesa Boogie uh, Facebook group said, "Oh, and which I already knew this, okay? But I didn't. I tried it and I didn't like it." He's like, "No," he says. The three band EQ is before the distortion. And then the graphic is after, which I guess a Marshall, it, the the three, you know, the EQ on a Marshall is after. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't know, man. I just I'm more of a musician than than all this about tech. So, but he said, take and turn on the three band. Turn the mid and the and the bass off and then use the graphic to some Still sounds like the same amp though, that's the only thing. But... So this is with the 
treble a little above noon. This is with mid and bass on zero. Just a crack bit of uh, of present. And then I made up the difference on the graphic to taste. Right? That's it. Yeah, that's it. Graphics in. Okay. Pull in a little bit of mid and bass, just a touch. Sorry to say, I, so far, I still think this thing sucks. Personally. I wouldn't say sucks. I just, it's not for me. It's all in the way of my voice. Literally, literally it, sounds, it sounds like the way I talk. All right, here we go. We're going to try it, man. So we're going to go, we're going to go like this. This is just another take of suit two C plus. Hey, whoa. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Does it work? And if you've been following me, I've got five amps here. I really want four. I want to drop my Marshalls way down, and I want to bring my my matchless up a little. Bit. This boogie. This is it, man. It's the final countdown. Hey, guess what helps? Click. Let me, let me get it in, in the groove here. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, man. <laughs> I took your advice. It's, I still don't like it. But, you know, it's... Uh, Right? It's not for everybody. Double this and see. I don't know. Maybe it's cool. What do I know, man? I'm just, I mean, literally, I'm just some dude. Right? Here's the double. go let's see is it is it happening I'm gonna get it in line with probably what the other tracks look like let's see let's get rid of you here's the original 2c plus yeah about close enough and the new c plus yeah so check it out check it, check it out before you rickety rickety wreck it out yeah boom so here we go the original 2c plus that i tracked yesterday with my ghetto fabulous martial mentality setup Today's. It, you know, it's and so here, here's here, and and this is not, uh, this is by no means any kind of like a 
This is just my opinion. First of all, I don't like amps like this that have all kinds of like special, like do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. To me, I'm also 58 years old. I grew up on Marshalls, Fenders, Va like if you can't set everything at noon and it sound like the amp's supposed to sound like to one degree or another, I'm not really interested in it. Um, you know, and also, I don't know that all the voodoo makes an amp sound different. Like, it still sounds like the same amp. It's got a slightly different EQ curve. Um, this new setup, which is kind of mid-bass on zero, um, is actually kind of less fun to play. I don't know. Maybe I should have a gain pedal in front of it. I, I don't know. But it, it's like the amp's not, the amp's not driving right. It, I like the way it was driving better personally. I don't know, you know, whether it sounds better or not is subjective. Let's turn it down a little bit. Let's try it again. So here is the original 2C+. Plus. Yeah, this is just 2C+. Plus. Now here is with the new settings. Hold on, what am I doing? Why does this suck so bad? Let's add a pedal. Let's add a pedal. When in doubt, add a pedal. Maybe a $50 boss pedal will save the day. Maybe a $50 boss pedal will save the day. Super overdrive. Let's see. It's going back. I mean, it's just. Yeah, I don't know, kids. I'll try it with the clon a little bit here. Oh, gotta have my have my pencil. Give me an eraser. $4,000. All right, kids. This is the end of the Mark 7 videos. I'm taking it back. I don't like it. No matter how you said it. I don't like it. Yeah, it's got that it's got that mid-range thing that I just don't dig. We'll go back here to the recto, <laughs> the rectum fryer, as they used to call them, rectum fire fryer. Here's uh, my 77 with the SD1 and the rectifier with a little 808, right? Yeah.
Hey, you know, there's no, there's no way to know, really, unless you just hear a clip and you just immediately hate it, chances are you're not going to dig it. But there's really no way to know. You know, I've heard guys make good Black Star clips, and I've, I've owned Black Stars. I didn't, I just did not agree with Black Stars. Like, they just, like, there was some chromosome in my body that did not work with a, with a, with a with a black star and there's probably things that i like that other people are like oh yeah i don't like that or whatever so you know to each his own but there you go so i'm gonna pull this mark seven and return it i'm gonna pull up my matchless a little bit and i'm gonna drop down it's gonna i'm gonna shorten this whole thing got a brand new axe effects coming in uh axe effects 3 mk2 to turbo or not to turbo that is the question yeah, there you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 77 SD1 Recto 808. Should I do like a like? A, should I do a thumbnail with me like holding the box, thumbs up or thumbs down? No, y'all ain't gonna get that. Homie, don't play that. It's never the five reasons or the three. This, come on, man. Life's a campaign, YouTube. It's time for YouTube to grow up. Stop lying to people that it's all about tips and hacks. It ain't about tips and hacks. It's about commitment. It's about discipline. It's about a campaign. Ain't no tips. You, you, you're going to learn how to mix by, with some. You know, here's your three tips to becoming Chris Lord Algae. Man, you, if you believe that, you're on crack. <laughs> if you believe that there's three tips to mix like uh, you know Joe Barisi, you are on crack. There is no three tips. It's like discipline, commitment, repetitiveness, consistency, passion, hard. You know, th th this is the real deal. I mean, obviously... That doesn't look sexy on some lame <laughs> YouTube, you know, thumbnail. So stop the thumbnails, man. It's been 10 years of this. I, I, it offends me now. Anyway, that's just me, man. Peace.